Oxford, Emily Benway, after a thrilling GNAC tournament win over Riviere. Uh, guys, let's kind of talk about the game tonight. We knew it was probably going to be closer than maybe an eight versus one tournament contest might be, and it turned out to be that way. Uh, talk about the game. Yeah, I mean, coming into the game, I definitely know that Riv always shows up to playoff games. I remember when I was a senior in high school, I came here and they had that really close game um, four years ago. So I think we kind of knew it was going to be a competitive one. And we also knew that they're a very strong offensive team. So we had to really step up our defense. And I think that's how we won it in the end. Yeah, it's just like, no matter what seed it is, they're going to come to play. Like if it's eight seed, first seed, or anywhere in between team if playoffs, they're going to come hard. Yeah. <laughs> First three minutes of the game were, were crazy. Uh, not, <laughs> neither team, neither team missed a shot in the first three minutes, and I think they were had 16-15. What, what? Wow! And I think coach called a timeout quickly after that. Uh, what does he say in that situation where things are just kind of spiraling, but actually in a good way for both teams? Uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> you know, watching all those shots go in, but I think, like I said, um, I think we know that they're an offensively minded team. And at that point of the game, that's kind of all we were thinking about, too. So we had to kind of change our mindset from offense to defense. And I think that's where things kind of started to shift. Because if we can, both teams can shoot, it's whoever can play defense is going to win. Uh, Emily was 17 points and career high 14 rebounds. And Morgan <laughs> with 18 points, 4 rebounds, 3 block shots. Uh, so all, all these points and 5 fouls. But I wasn't going to say that. You did. Um, <laughs> Looking at the points in the paint, 32 to 14 advantage. Obviously, you guys in the paint. Um, why do you think that was so successful to, uh, tonight against Rib? We definitely had height advantage. That helps. But I think like uh, we just work well together. Like our post, we do a lot of work and practice and stuff mm -hmm. with post work and working together. So I think we see each other very well. So it's like it just works and passes from the guards. Like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we work yeah. really well now. Now I think I know what you're going to work on tomorrow in practice. What do you think that's going to be? Defense. Well, <laughs> you work on it every practice, yeah. I'm sure. Free throws. Oh yeah. Yeah, not guess. your best free throw sh shooting effort. 14 for 25. Not terrible, but certainly not where you want to be. Um, yeah. Was that nerves, or was that just one of those things, or was it just a bad night from the line as a team? Oh, that's a good question. It might have been nerves. Um, I guess we're lucky that none of the foul shots near the end came down to like game time decision. But yeah, you got to make your free throws because that would make the difference. I mean, and Emily uh, just today announced that you received three Rookie of the Week honors, CCAC, GNAC, and the main states. What does that mean to you? That's that's a pretty big deal to have three in one week. Um, it's very rewarding, especially like being a freshman and getting those rewards. It's just like nice to know that like I'm getting recognized and like. It's hard, like I put a lot of work in the season and it was nice to get one of those get rewards. <laughs> now here we are with, you know, Morgan again. Um, you surpassed the 1600 point mark tonight. Hey. That's a lot of points. Wow. How many points did you score in high school? I mean, you have two uh, different schools, but do you have any idea? Just a little over a thousand. Yeah. I mean, this is a tremendous amount of points. <laughs> you are likely gonna be in, in second place when it's all said and done. Um, do you, I mean, do you have any idea that where these other players are, or you just kind of let other people worry about that? Where the other like like who the next person is on the list, or oh oh uh, no, I try not to think about that because then that kind of gets in your head and yeah. You, I mean, that's not really what matters about <coughs> the whole scheme of things. So I saw that post you guys posted the other day, and that was cool to see all those other faces and names that you see in practice every day on the um, banners out there. So that was cool. But pretty eye-opening. Yeah, really, it is. Yeah, for it's sure. just a tremendous career. Um, so now Suffolk beat Norwich, if you guys knew that. No upsets in the first round of the GNAC tournament yeah. this year. Um, <laughs> uh, Suffolk, uh, what do you guys think you'll have to work on for them? Uh, you know, they're definitely a different team than the last time we played them. Um, I think they've changed a lot of what they do, so I think um, we're going to have to scout it out a little bit. Um, but basically just focus on playing our own game and our own gym is what it will come down to. I don't really remember playing them, but no. yeah, it wasn't that it's kind of a blur, right? Yeah. It's always kind of a blur. Yeah. Um, now, Emily, I know you missed a game with an injury. Coming back from that, is everything, you don't have to give details of what your injury was or anything, but you weren't out very long, <laughs> and, you, and you came back pretty strong. So it, yeah. 
Um, I don't know. I just kind of came back because I don't like missing games. Like I just, it, I don't know. I just like to play. So it's like right. coming back. I was like, all right, let's go. It's a yeah. new season. <laughs> well, you said you worked hard this season. That's probably part yeah. of it. Is coming back from an injury. Yeah. And that, you know, that's that's hard on a on a team like this where you want to be out there and you want to be contributing to mm -hmm. such a successful yeah. year. And all the competition too. Right. Yeah. You could lose your spot, although you had a great year, and probably wouldn't. Um, you know, you never know. <laughs> Somebody goes in and lights it up. But um, home crowd. Last question. Let's talk about the home crowd tonight. And how big that is for you guys to get people out to the games. That was awesome. That was so exciting yeah. to look out and see all that blue out there. I mean, nothing feels better than like seeing your friends and people you see around campus support you and like people in the community. So it was great. Come out Thursday. <laughs> See you later. Yep. That's about as close to a shameless plug as you'll get. From <laughs> All right, guys, congrats a lot. Congrats on the win, and uh, good luck on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you.